So for number 23, it's telling us, if you look at all the combinations of those u, v, and w, um, is there any vector that can't be produced from cu plus dv plus ew uh, in 3D space? So it, it is actually asking us, hey, does all combinations of cu, dv, and ew, do they, they fill all of three-dimensional space? Um, and so the other way to phrase this would be, are they linearly independent? Do the three vectors contribute um, different directionalities in 3D space? And so let's look at U and V. If we look at the contributions of U and V together, they're going to form a plane. And this is going to be, um, this plane here is an infinite plane, right? For all combinations of CU and DV, we're going to have this plane that extends infinitely. So you can think of it as like an infinitely thin sheet of space that... Um, that intersects here at the zero vector. And then if you look at W, well, W, it points upwards, right? So it takes this plane here, this plane spanned by um, U and V, and it begins here and it points upwards. And we can think that v W actually does point upwards, right? So it lets us access this uh, the sideways dimensionality. So think of like taking this plane, this U and V, and moving it up and down. So if we take this infinite plane and we can move it up and down because of W, that means that we can definitely access all of 3D space, right? Um, so we can say here that U, V, and W are linearly independent uh, because if that were not the case if they were not linearly independent then if you take this plane here formed by uv then w would be like lying here in this plane they would all be coplanar but because they're not coplanar because w points outwards then it means that they're all um they're all linearly independent so because they're all linearly independent can oops they they can span all of R3. So you can access every single point in 3D space. And like we saw before, um, there are different answers if U, V, and W are all in the same, the same plane or line. So if they were in the same plane, like we said before, if W were lying if W were lying here, oops, I put that in the wrong color. If W were lying here, it means that we would not be able to access to go up or go down in that direction, right? And so if they were coplanar, it would mean that we were stuck in R2. And even worse, if they were all collinearly, collinear, um, so say that this here would be V and maybe W would be here, but W would point the other direction, right? If they're all collinear, then they would only be able to access um, R1. So definitely different if they were all coplanar or collinear. And that is it for item 23.